All right, y'all, so feeling a little better today, and I'm going to attempt to make my own tres leche cake. And these are the ingredients that I have before me. A pan, can't tell you the measurements, but you know, the basic pan. That's the right way. My husband's is one thing. Um, I got, I, they say you can use yellow, and I saw some people use, okay. So I saw some people use yellow, but I'm going to use uh, the French vanilla, and I saw some people use this too, or you can use white. Some people's doing strawberry. I just chose to go with French vanilla, which is just, I guess, white cake, but vanilla, I don't know. But yeah, got that. Um, and got my three milks. Got the condensed milk, Kroger brand. Um, and got the evaporated. And then I saw a girl, she used almond milk, so I'm gonna use almond milk. Vanilla. And uh, then, you know, you can put some cinnamon sugar, a little nutmeg on top. Honey, I'm making up stuff. I know it's cinnamon sugar, but I don't know about the nutmeg. <laughs> I just picked that up. And then, um, you know, after you poke the holes, which we're gonna get there, and, um, and you pour your three milks, you're gonna Put your whipped topping on top, and then I got my strawberries to go on the top. Now, I usually get this from Wegmans, and I had it a few times, and it was so incredible. But the past times that I would go, the cake was so dried out, they need to take that off the shelf. So, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna try to make my own and take y'all along with me. So, first, we're gonna mix this cake up, and that'll be in the next clip. All right, so, about to mix everything up, and I'm gonna flip the camera, of course. But, um,. They say you just make the cake as directed on the box. So a cup of water, half a cup of vegetable oil, and three eggs. And I'm gonna go ahead and whisk that all together for y'all. All right, here we go. There's the cake mix. Got my nice big bow, honey. I was struggling a little bit to cut that open, and I don't know why I didn't just get some scissors, but yeah, you know how this goes. Dump the cake mix into the bowl. Dump, dump, dump. <laughs> And my water. Okay, cannoli. Gotta put the canola oil up in there. Alright, measure it, measure it. Half a cup. There we go. Now I'm about to move on to the eggs, I think. Yes. I was trying to crack it on the bowl, didn't work. So I hit it on a deep freezer. Yes, it was no shells in my cake. I did drop that in there. <laughs> And yeah. All right, so got the eggs in there, got my whisk, and as you see, you know, the motions I'm doing, this is how you whisk a cake like a pro. I am giving you the tips, the secrets. But yeah, I'm just whisking it up. That's it. I was gonna use a mixer, but chose the whisk. All right, now I'm about to prep my pan with my Pam that I could not get in the camera. Okay, there we go. Got my Pam. And of course, I'm gonna grease that down. And I was having some trouble because I picked up the one that didn't have that much in it, but y'all gonna see in a minute. I'm spraying, it's gonna look like nothing is really coming out but air or whatever's in that can that's left. But you'll get the gist. Grease your pan, grease your pan. All right, got that all greased up. Now I'm putting my cake inside the pan. Um, so I can get it in the oven, which I um, had pre-eating, pre what? <laughs> Pre-heating to 350. Yes, I thought I had the bowl a little more in the camera, but not so much, but still. Y'all know what I'm doing, getting every little remnant of the cake in that pan. All right, so I got the cake all in here. 
ready to go in the oven for this size pan so it's 28 to 33 minutes and then um, we'll be poking the holes once it's all cooked so yes all right I'm about to cut these up and um, set them aside with a little sugar until it's time to ice and top the cake Alright, so back with my washed strawberries and I'm about to go ahead and cut them up and use this slice. Here is my sugar. Strawberry a little tough. <laughs> I don't know why, but I was struggling in the beginning at first, um, trying to get some of the strawberries cut with the wires. But yes, then I kind of, you know, was getting the hang of everything. But some of them still were a little tough. I think the bigger the strawberry, it was like pushing the wires out of place, and that was why it was making it so hard to. Um, press down but for the most part this was the perfect tool see like struggling a little bit and I decided to go ahead and eat that one <laughs> dipped it in some sugar and ate that but yeah All right, so now that I, um, what you call it, did my strawberries, I'm just waiting for my cake to finish. Got about 17 more minutes, and then um, I'll be poking the holes. I have my strawberries sitting in here with a little sugar, because, honey, I don't think those are really ripe yet. But, you know, a little sugar had a little flavor. And then I don't... I'm gonna wait until I'm about to pour to make my three milk tres leche mixture because um, I don't want, I don't, I don't know if it, what it'll do if it's sitting waiting for the you know cake. So once the cake is out and I have poked the holes, then we'll go from there, make that. And then it's supposed to sit in the fridge for, I saw someone say two hours they let it sit. Somebody said 24 hours. I have a little family thing to go to so it'll just be sitting in there till I get back and then I'll top it and end the video um, so yeah I might do 24 hours because then I could just do it tomorrow but then I'm like oh no I don't know but yeah I'm rambling so next clip please <laughs> all right so the cake just beat I just took it out the oven and I'm about to um, go ahead and start poking the holes, y'all. Alright, here's the cake. It's all done. I'm about to, I think I'm going to use a straw to poke the holes. 
Someone said that they cut the edges and I might actually do that. So bear with me a second. All right, y'all, so, <clears throat> trying to get my camera right. Um, some people are, you know, letting it sit. Some people are topping it right after. Trying to make sure y'all can still see the cake, because right now I'm just about to um, poke the holes. They said just poke as many holes as you can. I was going to do a straw, but I felt like that might break my cake all the way apart. Because I saw they was using a fork. <laughs> Ooh. But I hope this is right. And I hope I do this good. Because I love me some trust legend, honey. Okay, maybe I'm being too aggressive. I don't know. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. This is the real deal holy deal. What may happen. Okay. All right, I'm tearing a big hole in there. I'm leaving this one here. Mm. Chase. Okay. I think that's enough. Plus, I got those two big holes. So now I'm about to um, make my mixture. So we're gonna put this to the side. All right. So we got this. This. And I'm gonna use some ah, almond milk. All right, so I went and got the can opener so I could open those two cans of the milks. And that's just what I'm doing right here. So I can go ahead and create that Tres Leche 3 milk mixture. So, we'll pour that in. And that. We're gonna pour. This is the thick one. Might take a little bit for it to come out. Ooh. Trying to make sure y'all can see without cutting my finger. But yeah. This almost like reminds me of pudding, the consistency. as this can in there. I might pour a little more there's in a cup but there we go. Alright. And then just supposed to mix this up because the what you call it is so thick. The um, sweet condensed milk. So I'm just stirring that up so it can all mix. Try not to stir it too hard because all the 
Alright, I think I got it all blended in. Alright, I'm gonna add a little vanilla. I know this is probably not the best of the best of the best of the best of vanilla, but it's gonna do. I'm gonna do two. Do I know what I'm doing? No, I don't. Okay. There we go. So, that's all mixed. Alright, y'all. So, I put some in a cup. I don't think I'm going to put all of it. My hands are shaking because this is heavy. But, um, I don't think I'm going to put all of it on the cake because I don't need it. You know I want it moist and wet, but... Ooh, I'm getting so scared. Why am I getting so scared? <laughs> I'm probably going to be the only one that eats this. All because... My husband do not like this kind of cake. And it's going to be cold. Mm. Okay. I might put a little more. Just a little more. I'm going to put a little more, little more, little more, little more. And I think I'm going to... let it set for the two hours and then do the topping um i'm hoping that i put enough in there if y'all can see um and then yeah we'll go from there all right this is the type of wrap i just never can get right i'm gonna oh my gosh i don't know the plastic cling wrap is like the worst wrap if you ask me but i'm gonna use that to just wrap the cake. Let me get me some scissors because this stresses me out terribly. Um, but yeah. See, look, it's even honey. They need to come up with a better way to make it easy to what you call it. Put one more covering over it. One more. And then put the stick into the deep freezer. One more. Make sure I get all covered. All right. Put this in the fridge. Y'all, I am struggling. Look at this. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> all right, I'm back home. My father-in-law cooked all this great food, and I am stuffed. Let me get this out. You want to be in this video so bad. It really was a 10 out of 10, though. No. The food was 10 out of 10. Let me, let me no, 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 no. All right. Oh, it's all recorded. Okay, so this is the cake. It's been sitting. Um, and now I'm about to do the whipped topping. And the whipped topping literally is just the whipped topping. Oh, upside down, but y'all got it. And I'm going to add the strawberries after I do the whipped topping. I don't think it's too wet. It's probably been about two hours or so. And I'm going to put this on there. I might pour a little bit more of the little mixture on there, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Somebody wants to be in my video. So bad. I'm just gonna check to see. I'm just gonna take a little snibble bite. No. All right, one second. All right, y'all. So I added some more of the mixture on there because I want to mount a little wetter, I guess. <laughs> so now I'm gonna get my spatula or whatever this thing is. Yeah, spatula, and I'm going to just put that on top, and yeah, after I put this on there, then we'll add our strawberries. Now, like I was saying, 
You know what? I'm going to just do a voiceover. Because I can't get no, um, what you call it, around here. Don't worry about my edit my video because you said you didn't even want none of this cake and you keep on hovering over me. All right, so this is the final result. I could not find my little strainer spoon, so it's a little bit of the strawberry juice on top, but that is okay. And yes, I'm gonna cut a piece and eat it in just a sec. Oh, it's about to die. Okay, I'm gonna try to hurry up or I'm gonna have to try to record on my phone. I don't know why this seems so crooked. Oh, Y'all, this is the cake. I cannot get the piece. I'm gonna say goodbye. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to hurry up. Johnson, bye. <laughs>